Marshall Green. Oh, that one. Yeah. We're just, yeah, we're doing great here. Um, but I know you guys probably want to see the game, so why don't we just cut to the first trailer so you guys get an idea of what we'll be talking about here. A little bit of video gaming in there at the end. Well, that was a pretty intense trailer, not gonna lie. I'm sure people are kind of wondering what is the overview kind of of this game for the experience. I guess obviously we've seen a lot of little scenes spliced together. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Logan and Angela, do you want to share kind of how you got involved with the project? Sure, um, thanks. Uh, <laughs> I got involved um, with the project. Uh, it was sent, on, sent to me as... Um, as a, about a 230 page script um, that I only knew Annapurna was behind. I had played a few of their uh, titles independently um, and, and loved mm -hmm. Edith Finch and I knew they knew how to tell stories through the medium and I didn't really know who Sam Barlow was but I knew that he had, invent he had invented, I guess in many ways too, but had created this game called Her Story mm -hmm. which um, I think between the time that I, I essentially read the script, I knew I was going to talk to Sam because I needed to know who he was. I needed to know, he needed to know who the hell I was. But I was reading this 200, about a 230-page script Spick. while I was playing her story at the same time. Oh, wow. uh, so I'd read a bunch because I just can't read more than about 80 pages at <laughs> a time. Um, I'm yeah. just not smart enough. So, uh, but I, I, I would play her story, and it was very quick. I would read his words and play his game at the same time, and... It, it, by the time I was halfway through the script, I knew I wanted to do it. Um, so I, it was about keeping my cool when I talked to him, so I didn't, I didn't blow it. And um, it was a cheat as well, because I think actually with Angela and Logan, the first time... A lot yeah. more cabling. Yeah. Uh, but that was it. I mean, even though it still felt like you were on two sides of the country, because again, I don't know if you guys were picking up on that, we were two, two sets, two crews working simultaneously, shooting concurrently on these rigs that were looking to make it look like we were using handheld devices and it's all being fed into uh, a central command with this guy in, in Video Village. It, that is very rare uh, yeah. to have that kind of a uh, real re reality to the, um, uh, to the production value. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah, I mean, in order to make it look like you're holding a phone, you have to have forearms of a Java man. <laughs> um, and because what we're holding, while they are small in comparison to normal cameras, you guys all know all this, I know, but, <laughs> you know, you have sound on top of a little GoPro thing that has a screen. We have picture in picture so we can see each other ourselves. We have earwigs in at the same time so sound's not picking up a microphone. Um, and you're holding it, uh, you're holding it up like you would hold a phone most of the time, and that's a pretty big rig. So it's not just... These are oneers. Every 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 scene you see are oneers. Uh, they're oneers while we're holding and and operating. We're also the camera operators. Um, but we I mean, can't tell because you're such good actors. I was going to say, but yeah. my now I'm just all about the union, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why isn't I getting more checks? Can I swear? Oh god, <laughs> it's totally okay. I do it all the time. It's fuck fine. Yeah, he <laughs> so it was a it was a it was a chore to just make it seem effortless because mm -hmm. we don't think about that when we hold our phones up. Um, our forearms are conditioned, but in this case, they were much larger uh, rigs, and, and we had to act accordingly as, as Angela said. It's very real, like a dog could bark, right? And it works on one side, but the dog can't bark. It's the same uh, time on both sides. I know. Yeah. I feel bad about killing that dog, but I mean, we, all we had to do it. <laughs> With facial hair. Type cats. Um. I loved how you described it. Um, I think yesterday, maybe, um, it, that it's an open world game. And it's beautiful, it's beautiful in that, and, the, and it's text based, mm -hmm. obviously, right? But that's why we can't give you too many uh, details about character or adjectives or verbs announced, because it's an open world game, and we'd be giving you loot. Um, and you don't want that loot yet. You want to play the game to get that loot. I think that's, that's the hardest thing, because like, we had discussions around trailers and things internally, and you know, within. Mm. Or is that a spoiler? <laughs> We can't spoil anything. No, I'm, I'm, I'm desperate to get it in people's hands, it feels like. Yeah. I, I'm a doctor in the game. <laughs> <laughs> or am I telling lies? Yeah, there you go. When is it coming out? Very soon. 
very we soon. Haven't is that a spoiler? The day. Or is he telling lies? <laughs> I haven't seen it, so I'm excited. I want to see it. Yeah, very soon. I'm desperate. Very it's soon. like it's like the final stages of childbirth, where you're just desperate to get the thing out, <laughs> but at the same time, you want to make sure <laughs> it's healthy and everyone is good. Right. So you kind of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Well, thanks everybody for coming and checking out a conversation with Telling Lies. Um, hope to you guys all enjoy the game once you play it. Yeah.